Hi, my name is Aneta and in today's video we're going to practice some past paper questions on Hess's law. What Hess's law mean is basically uh, that the reactants go to products in more than one route, but the enthalpy change is the same for any route. So here is our first question. Sulfur dioxide can be formed in the atmosphere when hydrogen sulfate emitted in gases from volcanoes reacts with the air. The equation for the reaction is as follows. And the first part, it asks us, use the enthalpy change of formation values given in the table to calculate standard enthalpy change for the reaction. So we're going to use FPR. And what I mean by FPR is so it's formation values, products minus reactants, and the arrow goes up. If you don't understand what I mean by FPR, please visit my blog page and the tutorial for enthalpy changes and Hess's law. So, these are the formation values and the elements needed to form these two substances are hydrogen, which goes in pairs, plus sulfur and oxygen. This is all, these are also the elements that form these substances. Now we just got to balance it out. So we need four hydrogens, so two in front of this. We need two sulfurs, so two in front of sulfur, and we need six oxygens, so three in front of oxygen. This is also the case for this side. We've got four hydrogens, two sulfurs, two plus four which is six oxygens. And what I mean by the arrow going up, all of this forms these substances. So now we've got to find the standard enthalpy change for the reaction, which is products minus reactants. We have all the values right here, so we just put them in. Products, got two hydrogens, plus oxygen is two waters, so two times minus 286, plus we've got two SO2, so it's two times minus 297, that's all the products, and now we've got to take, a, take away the reactants, which is two H2S, 2 times minus 20.2 and oxygen is in its standard state so it's zero. After we add all of this together and take away all of this we get minus 1125.6 and the unit is kilojoules mole minus 1. The second part asks us to explain why the standard enthalpy change of formation for O2 is zero. So, as I said before, this element is in its standard state, so the enthalpy change of oxygen is zero. So here is the next question, it's a bit long. So it says we can calculate the standard enthalpy change of reaction for making diamond from graphite using Hess's law. Now we've got in the table, the reaction taking place and the standard enthalpy change. The first part asks us to state Hess's law. And Hess's law is when reaction can occur by more than one route the total enthalpy change for each route will be the same. 
if you're not exactly sure what this means, we can look at the previous question. So it's obviously it doesn't go the, these reactants don't go directly into these products. And for Hess's law, the reaction can take can have more than one route, so it doesn't always go like sh in a straight line from reactants to products. It may go to a different reaction, the intermediate, and then to the products. But it doesn't matter which route it will take; it always have the same total enthalpy change. If you're still not sure what this means, please visit my blog and the Hess's law tutorial to catch up. So the next part says calculate the enthalpy change of reaction below from going from graphite to diamond. So this is CRP and the arrow going down. This means that it's a combustion, we're using combustion values, reaction minus products, the arrow going down. So, um, in the table, we've got adding oxygen and creating carbon dioxide. That's exactly what happens in the combustion. That's how I know it's CRP and not FPR, because they're not combustion, uh, they're not formation values, they are combustion values. That's the standard enthalpy change of combustion for this case because oxygen is added and carbon dioxide is formed. So the enthalpy change is reactants minus products. That's what this means. And in this case, reactants is the C diamond. So minus 395.4 and then we take away the minus of graphite which is minus 393.5 these are our reactants I think I just did it all wrong sorry guys my bad. The reactants and the products, so graphite minus 393.5 minus all the products which is minus 395.4. I just told you to use this one and I've used this instead. This is not right. It's CRP for this example, reactants minus products. And minus 393.5 minus minus 395.4 is plus 1.9 and the units kilojoules small minus 1. Okay, so next part says, Chiron states that because diamond is an element, its enthalpy of formation under standard conditions must be zero. State whether Chiron is correct and give a reason. So he's not correct, and this is because neither diamond or graphite are the starting states of carbon. So our answer is Chiron is incorrect. Diamond is not the standard state of carbon. I'm leaving all the links down below for the tutorials to this to these questions. So if you're not sure how I'm getting the answers, um, please check it out first and then come back. Also, if you want to do the questions along with me, um, just write me an email and I'll send you all of the Word documents with the questions so you can do them all as we go along. So the next question says, 
Use all of the information in the table below to calculate the enthalpy change of reaction. So the table gives us the enthalpy change of combustion for all of these elements. So we know it's a combustion. So C, R, P, arrow going down. And that's something you should really learn because it really helps. CRP, FPR, arrows going up, down. So during combustion, carbon dioxide and water are formed. So we have to balance it out. So we've got two carbons, so two carbons here. We've got six hydrogens, so we're going to put the three in front. And now we've got four plus three, seven oxygens, and that's what exactly what's here. So the arrow is going down. To all of this. And now we can start the calculation. So the enthalpy change for comb using combustion values are reactants minus products. I promise I won't make a mistake this time. So it's all of the reactants, which is two carbons, plus three hydrogens. 3 times minus 186 plus the oxygen, but oxygen is in a standard state, so it's zero. And then we take away all of the products. So ethane, which is minus 1560, and add in zero again because it's oxygen and it's in its standard state. So after calculating all of the reactants, we get minus 1646, and then we do minus, minus 1560, and we know minus and the minus gives us a plus. So the final answer is minus 86 kilojoules small minus one. You don't have to worry about calculating all this. If you remember what the brackets, you can just put it all in the calculator and it will give you the final answer. <clears throat> and this is our last but not least question. Methanoic acid is the simplest carboxylic acid and occurs naturally, most notably in an ant venom. It has a molar mass of 46.02 gil mole minus one. State what it meant, what is meant by molar mass. So molar mass means exactly the same what this says. The mass of one mole of a substance, of a compound. Mass of one mole of a compound. Part B says, use the values in the table, which is right here, and the equation, which is right here, to calculate the enthalpy change of formation for methanoic acid. So, so um, we've got the enthalpy changes of combustion, so that's what we're using. So it's CRP arrow going down. So all you gotta do is put carbon dioxide plus water because these are the two products that are formed from combustion. So one carbon, two hydrogens, two, three oxygens and three oxygens. So it's all balanced. So now what we gotta do is just find the enthalpy change which is reactants minus products. All the reactants is carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen is zero because it's in its standard state. So it's only carbon minus 394 plus 
hydrogen, which is minus 286. Then we got to take away all the products, which is methanolic acid, minus 263, plus water. But it's the standard state, so it's zero. So we're not going to include this. So it's, this bracket is minus 680. Then we take away minus 263. Minus and a minus gives us a big plus. So the final answer is 417 kilojoules mole minus 1. So these are all the questions that I've prepared for you. Remember, everything I show you are my techniques and ways of learning and revising. If you have any questions about my videos, please comment or email me. Link I will leave all the links in the description box below, so have a look. Also, if you have any comments about the quality or content of my videos, please also leave them under this video. Uh, so like, subscribe and see you soon. Bye!